This question is asking us for data from the graph that supports the researcher's conclusion. Let's find out what the conclusion is. These researchers presented participants with vignettes about fictive, fake political candidates, portraying them as embodying a personality trait considered admirable, like agreeableness, or one considered ignoble, like cynicism. So I personally don't know what ignoble means, but I can see that there's a contrast going on here. We have admirable, agreeable, versus ignoble, cynicism. And cynical is like a negative characteristic. So we're talking about people that are likable or not likable. So going onward, the survey recorded their ratings of the candidate's likability and showed that across participants, ignoble trait candidates were less likable than admirable candidates. However, when the researchers factored in the participants' own personality trait scores, they concluded that this relative ranking persisted except among the participants with high ignobility scores. So the part that seems significant is that part right at the end. Well, of course, because it says they concluded. They concluded that the relative ranking persisted except among the participants with high ignobility scores. So what might be confusing about this graph is that we have the candidates, which are here, the candidates' likability scores, that's the y-axis, and then we have the participants, the people who participated in the study. And the key right here says we're talking about the admirable candidates and the ignoble candidates. So the main part of the conclusion was that when the participants had the high ignobility scores, which basically puts them around this part of the chart, the relative ranking did not persist anymore. And that relative ranking that was mentioned was the idea that the ignoble trait candidates were less likable. So all throughout this graph, the ignoble candidates are less likable than the admirable candidates up until this intersection point. And suddenly after that point, now that's the point where the participants themselves are not very likable. So once the participants themselves are not likable, those same people actually picked the non-likable candidate as more likable to them above the generally likable candidate. So the graph definitely matches the claim perfectly. And let's start looking through the answers to figure out which one matches. So A says there was a strong positive correlation between the participants' ignobility scores and the admirable trait candidates' likability ratings. Well, I'm not seeing that part already because the admirable candidates were this line right here and there was no correlation at all. That was just a flat graph all throughout. So I think based on that, we can already get rid of answer choice A here. Going to B. Participants with an ignobility score of five or less rated admirable trait candidates as more likable, whereas participants with an ignobility score of six or more rated ignoble trait candidates as equally likable or even more likable than the admirable trait candidates. Well, that actually sounds really good because when the ignobility score was five or less, that's in this area the participants rated the admirable trait candidates as more likable. That's the idea that this line is above this line. But for six or more, it basically says the opposite is true, which is also the case. Here we have the orange above the green. So we'll definitely save B for later. C says, overall, participants rated admirable trait candidates as quite likable. And that rating was not significantly affected by the ignobility scores. Well, that is definitely true because all throughout here, the admirable candidates are just quite likable. They're at around 70% or so. Uh, but the problem with that one is it doesn't go with the uh, main idea. It doesn't go with the conclusion because we're hearing that the relative ranking persisted except among the high ignobility. So we're looking for something that changes when you get to high ignobility. And C doesn't address that at all. So now going to D. Unlike participants with an ignobility score of 6, participants with an ignobility score either greater or less than 6 gave admirable candidates and ignoble candidates different likability ratings. Well, here's another one that is true, because at 6 they had the same score, but less than 6 or greater than 6 of participant ignobility, there were different scores. But this also doesn't address the conclusion. The conclusion said 
the idea that across participants, ignoble candidates were less likable. Uh, so that relative ranking persisted except among the high ignobility. So we need to see the admirable candidates as higher throughout and then that relationship changing. D merely says they're equal in one part and they're different in one part, but it never says which one is higher. So on this incredibly tough question, the answer is B.